Expressors, how y'all doing? I hope your week has started out good, and if not, I pray it gets better. We are back with another Walk Through the Bible episode. What are we talking about today? Well, first, I wanted to address something that you may or may not have been thinking. As you have noticed, I've been recording in this broken down school building. You see the boarded up windows, clutter everywhere, and just a bunch of stuff. Well, the purpose was to symbolize how a walk with God can be a tearing down of old thoughts and habits. I see it as a deprogramming of what society and culture has taught us. Some of those lessons hurt us more than help us. But with God's truth, we can be free and become spiritually strong to survive in this world. Which brings me to the topic of today. Love your enemies. Yes, let's talk about it. You know when someone does you wrong and they know they did? So you feel a rage bubbling inside to get even? You may want to tear them down with the same words they tried to tear you down with. Or you might want to match their level of petty and show them you are not to be messed with. Yes, I think we've all been there and have possibly done an eye for an eye. We have even said that karma is going to take care of this person, so rest in that. All of these things are common in our society and honestly, they seem like everyday things. But what does God's word say about it? Well, let's look at some scriptures. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans chapter 12, verses 14 through 21, Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Okay. I know that is a lot to take in. I know for me, it goes against how my flesh wants to respond. You talking about blessing them when they do me wrong? Sorry, I know our wonderful former first lady, Michelle Obama, did say, when they go low, you go high. But let's keep it real. That isn't always how you want to approach a situation. But even in God's word, that is practically what God is saying. He is saying, let him handle it. And you just love your enemies. I know you might be ready to close out, but follow me for a second. Let's go to Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. Then Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to bring his accounts up to date with servants who had borrowed money from him. In the process, one of his debtors was brought in who owed him millions of dollars. He couldn't pay. So his master ordered that he be sold, along with his wife, his children, and everything he owned to pay the debt. But the man fell down before his master and begged him, Please be patient with me, and I will pay it all. Then his master was filled with pity for him, and he released him and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. He grabbed him by the throat and demanded instant payment. His fellow servant fell down before him and begged a little more time. Be patient with me and I'll pay it, he pleaded. But his creditor wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be tortured until he had paid his entire debt. That's what my heavenly father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. You see that? If we don't forgive and show mercy, God will not do the same when he is dealing with us. Now, I'm not saying you got to be in contact or even reconnect, but holding on to resentment and anger can only hurt you in the end. Pray over that situation or for that person and give it up to God. I know, easier said than done, 
Once again, I have not personally mastered this area, but I'm challenging myself to take a different perspective and really allow God to work on my behalf. All I can do is handle my own actions and continue on with my life with the viewpoint of showing mercy to another like God has done for us time and time again. Honestly, this was a tough study to bring today, as I mentioned. I am sorting through this in my own life. I hope that it encourages you or even makes you look a little differently at wanting revenge or being petty. Thank you again for tuning in and catch you on the next one.